Hey, Ken Verlick here, EXP Realty. And today I'm gonna to answer the question, if I wanna sell my house, should I sell now in the fall and winter or should I wait till next spring? Hey, Ken Verlick, EXP Realty, where we're opening doors for you. Hey, welcome to my vlog. What you're gonna find here is informational videos usually questions that actual buyers and sellers ask me on a regular basis and I answer them here. If you have a question that you need the answer to or want the answer to and you can't find it here, just shoot me a message, my information is down below, and I will shoot a video and answer your question. So look around, welcome, we're glad you're here. Hey Ken here with EXP and today I'm gonna to answer the question, should I sell now? Or should I wait for the spring? Whew. Man, I wish there was a blanket answer for that, um, but there's not. It really depends on what you're trying to accomplish with the sale of your house. You know, if, if you are, are you wanting to sell and step up, yeah, spring might be a little bit better. If you're wanting to maximize proceeds, honestly, fourth quarter might even be better. And here, here's why. In, in the fourth quarter or, you know, in the fall and in the winter, um, yes, you do have less buyers, but you also have less inventory and we're already in a low inventory situation, which means that there's less houses to compete with for the buyers that are out there. And the buyers that are out there are serious buyers. Well, that means that they're not just going out looking at houses just because it's fun. Let's go out on a June Saturday and look at houses. This is, they need to buy a house. So your traffic will be less, but the quality of your traffic through your house will be much greater. So I've always had great success in, in the fall months, the fourth quarter with um, price, you know, getting, getting market value or even above. And, and here, here's the other thing that we want to consider about, you know, maybe I'll wait for the spring because the spring market's better. Yeah, yeah, we have an election year coming. And I do know this about election years. It, it is a year of indecision and it usually um, is a down market for real estate. I'm not saying it's screaming down, but usually the, the market is down, price point is down, it's a down market for spring. We're, we've been in a really, really strong market for several months, um, and we're hitting, we're hitting the ceiling, and the Dow is starting to bounce a little bit. Everyone's talking about correction, not crash, talking about correction, and the real estate market follows the stock market by a few months, and if the stock market corrects here in the fourth quarter, you can see the real estate market correct in the first quarter and into the second quarter of next year in an election year. So with that being said, I can't predict the future. If I could, I wouldn't be selling houses. But what I can tell you is that the indicators are there that we are at the top of the market and um, we're due for a correction and we have an election year in front of us. So if you ask me right now if I should sell now or if I should wait till next spring, in this situation where we are time-wise, I would say sell now. Get your, get your property on the market, the sooner the better. Um, we still have a lot of buyers out there, inventory is really low, and market value is up. You know, And we just don't know what the future could bring. A correction could be significant. It could be uh, five to seven percent. We just take five to seven percent times the value of your house. That's significant money. So I hope this helps. I hope I answered the question: Should I should I sell now or should I sell in the spring? It really comes down to what you're trying to accomplish. But if proceeds is it, no one we got in front of us, I would sell now. Have a great day.